Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. In this session, we will discuss the projection of planes problems, how to solve this using uh, solid edge software. Okay, let me discuss the problem number 5. The question is given like this. A triangular plane lamina of sides 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corners touching it such that the side opposite to the corner on which it rests is 15 mm above HP and makes an angle of 30 degree with VP. Draw the top and front views in this position. Also determine the inclination of the lamina to the reference plane. Okay, well, here we have a question on the triangular plate lamina. So first we will draw the xy line and we can uh, give the naming for this x y and above xy line pp and below xy line hp okay and now we will get the triangle by using application macros so run macros and here inside polygon and once we get the inside polygon we will get the pop up in that pop up we can select the flat length and here the side they given 25 side length and number of sides we can get the 3 and we can place it here and this one should be a visible line so we can change this line to visible and here they given the resting on corner condition so corner should be come on the left side so any any side we can place it but we are all doing in a one way all my problems I am taken on the left side so this problem also I will take it on the left side so I will need to rotate it and uh, make any one opposite side if you make perpendicular then it will become a corner condition and you can uh, move this one to the respective positions and wherever you want after this we can give the namings it can be a and this point we can b and this one you can give it as c and we will zoom this it will be easy to be and then to get the front view we will draw the projection line to the xy and we will get the front view the front view will be uh, look like a straight line that one should be drawn with the visible line and then the naming of this uh, here only one point is it so a dash we can write it and here it is first b is coming so b dash and inside the bracket c dash and we need to show the dimensions by using smart dimension you can give the dimension and this one is needed for next step and in next step they give one uh, the question is here the side opposite to the resting corner is 15 mm above hp so in uh, previous problem and all we have that they give on the surface inclination here instead of giving the surface inclination they give on the uh, distance of that side is uh, 15 mm above hp means above hp distance will be shown in vp and that side opposite the corner is this is the side b dash c dash this side is 15 mm above hp so that's why first we will draw a reference line here we just draw the horizontal line and this line distance from the xy should be 15 you can use the distance between command select the line and select the xy line and click it and you can enter the distance 15 and then press enter now the distance is radius and then uh, now we can we know this uh, dimension that is 21.65 we can use the arc by center point arc by center point and take anywhere on the xy line as a starting point arc center and now the radius should be given of this length that is 21.65 enter and now we need to draw the arc on the locus line and then we go to the line visible line from the intersection of this line to the center we need to draw the line and then check the angle so this is how we need to find the inclination this inclination we got it 44 degree and you can move the namings here b dash of c dash is here and then this is a dash okay like this we made it the side opposite to the resting corner is 15 mm above hp it is satisfied now to get the top view we will draw the projection lines by using normal line and uh, here a dash and a we are getting a on this point so we can draw this line up to here and then join back here so we will get the a here and same way b 
B dash and B we are getting here. So B point we are getting here. Then C also we will get it here. Uh, I am trying to join C here. What happens by default the midpoint is also coming near to that. See the angle is 0 0.3 it is coming. So it should be exactly 0. So you can fix the angle 0 and then you can join up to here and you can place it. And coming to the naming uh, here we can get the A here then B is here and then C is here and go to line visible line and join all this one A to B, B to C and back to E. So now second step is finished and the last step the question is continually they give one is 15 mm above HP that means the side opposite the corner 15 mm above HP and makes an angle of 30 degree with VP that means the same line BC is inclined 30 degree to VP and here we need to get the first 30 degree line here so we can get the minus 30 if you enter in the ribbon bar minus 30 and we will get the line like this and you can show the angle by using angle command show the angle 30 degree now on this 30 degree BC should become and see here BC in the first step second step it is the length is not changed anything so the side when the side gives the side length is not changed we can find we can place it directly no need to find out the any beta angles over here so go to the move option switch on the copy hold the control select these three sides and release the control and now go to the point C then pick it and place it on the 30 degree line and then go to rotate option here while rotating switch off the copy we do not want any copies we just wanted to rotate it so select everything then release the control and then make C is already on the 30 degree line so make it fixed point and select the B and rotate it to the 30 degree line and then click it so like this the rotation is done and finally we got BC is on the 30 degree line and move the name is A and here B and this one is C and to get the final view we can uh, drag this one to the outside or you can drag it till here because it is convenient here it should not be overlapped and now join one by one A A dash is on the XY line you can draw the projection line up to this and then B so B dash is here you can draw up to here then C C dash is also on the top you can join up to here and first name it and this is A dash and this one is B dash and this one is C dash and you can trim this extra projection and now go to line visible line and join it A dash to B dash B dash to C dash and back to A dash okay, like this uh, all the condition is finished and final touch up is any namings and all is overlapped or it is not in a proper position and keep it in appropriate position before taking the printout because it should be free from overlap and it should be clearly visible like this everything is set it out okay finally all the conditions are satisfied